Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Leslie, also known as Hungry Heffy from Hungry Heffy Crafts. And I like to create cards and play with inky things, as I'm sure many of you do too. And I spend a lot of time editing and I thought that I would try something a little new and do some live crafting. So welcome, welcome, welcome to my craft room. And a huge thank you to hubby Craig because he had to fiddle with all the horrible technology things. I'll take the stamps and he can take the technology things. I think that's that's probably the best idea. So I'm going to be doing some crafting tonight. Thank you very much for sacrificing your Friday night or whatever time it may be for you, depending on which part of the world that you are in. And I'm going to be playing with this little guy tonight the pinata let me see if i can get it so it doesn't go all weird pinata it's from lawn fawn and it's called year seven and that's pretty much what i've got to start with and i'm really excited that you guys have come to to join me i'm just going to be playing and catching up on all your comments feel free to ask any questions and talk among yourselves and bits and pieces like that also tonight, I hope to do a little giveaway. I'm not really sure the best way to do this when it's live because it's kind of hard sometimes to scroll through all the comments, but I'll try my best to figure something out. And I'm on the design team for Honeybee Stamps and back in February, I helped design a couple of stamps for them. And part of the deal was that I would get a couple of extra stamp sets to give away to my viewers. So tonight, let me grab this. Um, I'm not sure how at the moment, but we'll try and figure that out. Um, I'm going to be giving away one set of stamps, which is the Yay Baby. No, it's not. It's called the Welcome Baby Stamp Set from Honeybee Stamps, designed in collaboration with me and also the coordinating dies for this stamp set. So the, the stamp set itself has baby, a little peekaboo baby, a cat and a dog, little stars, welcome, has some baby blocks and some other elements, baby type of elements as well. Great for baby cards. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at some of our comments here. Oh, Bunny Dobby is blushing. Well, you deserve to blush, you're amazing. And uh, Jasmine's given a big shout out to, to hubby Craig. So speaking of that, um, Craig, I think we're about ready to turn around the camera. Hold on to your seats, everybody, because you're going to go on a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Why don't we turn you around upside down? And I shall remove the microphone. Gonna wiggle my fingers and hopefully that you can see it. Hey Suze, Crafty Suze is here as well. Suze, have you been doing more crafting and card making? That's what I wanna know. Crafty Suze and I go go way back. I think we discovered that Crafty Suze and I know each other for nearly a decade. Pretty sure it was a decade but we only met each other in person last year, which was really exciting. And the funny thing was when we met up, it was like we, you know, we, we knew each other <laughs> for ages and ages. And we were just casually having a chat and um, it was really fun. It was so great. Okay, so let's move this over so <laughs> that I can see the comments a bit better. Yep, great. <laughs> hey everybody, we've got some new faces here tonight. I shall relieve Craig from duty. Bye Craig. Bye. Bye. Uh, happy crafting. Happy crafting, it's my Bye. little um, go-to thing. Hey guys, guess what? Da -da -da -da. So last week, Hi, hi to Germany, hi back. 
Um, last week on my live stream, we were talking about ink pads, and this is usually my go-to ink pad, although this week it really started to dry up, which is funny because we were talking about re-inking stamp pads, not stamp pads, ink pads, and I thought that oh, actually I've never really done that apart from stays on. And everybody, well, loads of people, were talking about the jet black ink from Lonthorn. And on on the actual live feed, I said to Craig, Craig, okay, if you're listening, go and buy it. So it came, it arrived, and it's here, and I'm going to play with it. I have used it once, but I haven't really used it enough to know whether I still like this one better or this one better. So you're going to help me, help me figure it out. I did. Let's have a little look at some of your comments. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey there. And what's this? Elizabeth Lucy Wilkinson doing more craft, more buying than crafting. Yes, you know, sometimes I'm guilty of that as well. It, it can become a little bit of an addiction, but it is great to get some snail mail in, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Suzanne, for joining us, for dropping everything. Hope you, I hope you weren't carrying a glass of water or anything like that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stamp up this little guy and give him a go. I'm using some ooh, Nina cardstock today. Let's have a little look. Yeah, I like it. I like this ink. I'll do another one, just in case. <laughs> and I don't really know where this card is going to take me, but we'll have to just work together to figure that out. So tell me, Elizabeth, what have you been buying? We want to hear all about your crafty purchases. I love your craft room, it's like heaven. Jasmine, you have to come out and visit me in my craft room. That's what you need to do. <laughs> tell me about the buying rather than crafting. 95 pounds last week on new bits and they've all sat in my craft room. Do you know, I am guilty of that as well. I had something on back order. It was the Mama Elephant Unicorns and rainbows dies. And when I first when I first got the stamp set, I was desperate for the dies and I ordered them, but they were in back order and they took, I, I swear, no kidding, it probably took months, I'm maybe thinking like three months or something to come. It was from a UK craft store online that I will not mention the name of it because I don't think that's fair, but I'm, I'm not very, I wasn't very impressed. Let's say, let's put it that way. Um, and it took so uh, long to get here. And they went into my, into the back of the stamp pad, you know, that when you have your stamp pad and then I put the die at the back and it's still, still there. It hasn't even been cut apart. Maybe I will use that one on my next live video. Okay, I'm going to grab some uh, copy markers. I think I'm going to go for some soft colors today and I'm thinking pink and blue maybe, but I want it to be really soft. So I'm adding some R00 just around the outside. I'm not sure if you can even see this, to be honest. And I'm going to blend it out with a little zero, zero. Look at Jasmine trying to get a free dinner. You want me to buy you lunch and make you dinner at home? You are, you are a cheeky one, you're a cheeky sausage. <laughs> hey, it's Rebecca. Lawn fawn is my weakness. I think we discovered last week that we, we all pretty much have that same weakness. What did you buy from the new Lawn Fawn release? Oh, waiting from the pinata stamp, stamp to come in stock. And <laughs> I'm buying all of the new release. Did you get the out of this world 
one because I have been drooling over that one. I haven't yet caved yet because I've been buying so many other things. <laughs> the Hero Arts Mermaids of Europe. I haven't seen the Hero Arts Mermaids. I don't think. Obviously need to get myself in here and have a little look. See if I can see them. Someone needs to send me a link. <laughs> what else have we been buying? I bought some acetate the other day. I always kind of begrudge buying the basics like glue and um, things like acetate and envelopes. I always think I'd rather be buying stamp sets. You bought the mermaid for you with the dies, so you can do invitation. That's a good idea, Delana. They're so cute. Creating stamping magazine enchantment issue. These things are new to me. I think I just spend all my time crafting and I don't really get to go and explore new things in the world. <laughs> so Rebecca bought the pinata. Anyone else got the pinata out there? I'd love to see what you guys made with it. Just having a quick look at some of these Copic markers. Oh, Sean has joined us. Hey, Sean. Good to see some more men joining us. Last week we had Richard McGuffin. Got Sean here as well. <laughs> so you got a craft robo, Sean. Good for you. They're great. Well, um, I got the craft robo many, many moons ago. And then I upgraded to the Silhouette Cameo. <laughs> and it's sitting in the corner of my craft room over there with a cover on it and I haven't used it in ages. I think I mentioned last week that I have only recently got a, a computer in my craft room. So I used to have the, the laptop and it was a Mac and I don't know, it always seemed like a bit, bit like too much like hard work <laughs> to get everything set up. <laughs> hey July Mac, all the way from Montreal. Hey back at ya. I would love to go to Canada. I think I would much rather, actually we were actually thinking about moving to Canada um whenever craig's studio closed last year he worked for a microsoft computer game studio whenever he closed last year we were looking at different options and some of the people here the companies he applied to were in i'm not sure if it was montreal but it was definitely over that way i'd be well up for that Rebecca has made something with your pinata stamp, have you? You need to show us, that'd be awesome. Bunny Dobby says, I thought most people just use the packaging for acetate. I kind of like, ooh, my computer screen has gone on screen, so there we go. Um, I kind of like using proper acetate because it feels a bit more sturdy also sometimes for packaging it can um, be cloudy I guess is the right word so I bought some new ones 
sometimes I see people using acetate that you like peel off the top layer and it, you peel it back and it's like amazingly clear. And I cannot find anything like that. Nothing nearby anyway. Hey, we've got Denise here. Hello. The software takes a bit of time to get the hang of, but there's possi the possibilities are endless. She's talking about the Cameo. Do you know, it's been so long since I've used my silhouette that I imagine the software probably has updated. <laughs> what did I say Craig does? He makes computer games for a living. So every evening when I'm out here crafting, usually he is playing computer games. And that's fine by me because I'm just happy crafting. I'm going to try to keep a record of all the Copics that I have used and in order to keep them separate, I'm gonna put them here in my Foxy mug. How cute is this guy? Um, my my mumsy bought me this for Christmas and I think he's just absolutely adorable. I have another one on the shelf with some ink blending brushy things. Here you go. So I've got some ink brushes here with this other guy. They were too cute. I thought that I, I couldn't possibly put them in a kitchen cupboard. I had to had to bring them into the craft room. There's also a matching jug as well. It's adorable. Okay, so I have got a piñata. Oh, Rebecca, I'm sorry that you can't link on there. You'll just have to send us a link or tag me or something on Instagram or Facebook at Hungry Heffy. That would be awesome. Let's add a little bit of color to the rest of these things. Elizabeth, you said something about Jennifer McGuire has a video. What kind of video? I'm not quite following that one. Lots of comments tonight, which is amazing. Please forgive me if it takes me takes me a minute or two to catch up. Cynthia. Hey Cynthia. You make games at school. Oh, you're not that good. Oh, I'm sure you will get better. That's how everyone starts i am rubbish at playing games playing well rubbish at playing computer games anyway and um my daughter or our daughter is six and she is so much better at computer games than i am and she will say to me it's okay mommy it's okay if you practice you'll get much better. It's okay, mommy, which is adorable. But then she always wants me to play as well. And I'm like, I actually just don't even really want to play. But then you can't say that to your daughter, can you? <laughs> Angela says she's a collector, not a crafter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you seen my craft room? <laughs> if, you, if you weren't here at the start of the video, then you might not have. But um, if you rewatch the video, I too am a little bit of a collector. Jen McGuire Hero Arts Mermaids. Actually, was that the one where she had distress oxides and she used a mask to remove some of the ink through a stencil? In which case, yes, I have seen those mermaids and I think they're awesome. I really like them. Who do I get inspired by? When I need inspiration, asks Joy. Do you know who my favourite crafter is? Nicole Spore. I love her stuff. I think that everything that woman makes is just amazing. And I just have a little swoon session every time I watch her videos. Um, Jennifer McGuire. Um, who else? Oh, there's, there's loads of people. We've got Jessica Frost Ballast. And I do enjoy a good stroll through Pinterest. 
Denise asks, Denise, <laughs> Denise is interested in learning all about Craigie. Bear with me a second while I grab my big shot. Have you guys got the caddy, the big shot caddy? I got the big shot caddy for Mother's Day. Let me show you guys what it is. Da, 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 da. So it clips onto the side and it holds your like essential bits and pieces. And well, I know Angela says that she's a collector. I love to store things. I like everything to have a home. Jasmine can, uh, <laughs> Jasmine can attest to that. Jasmine, by the way, I used to work for me. I was her manager at work. So she knows I would be like, Jasmine, tidy your desk. Jasmine, make sure that everything is in the right place. Um, so yeah, I love storage and I really enjoy this. But it's a bit of a bit of a hassle whenever you have to move things. But I just do it for your benefit. It's Rebecca, if you want to see my card, it's underscore Bex underscore 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 and she's gonna tag me that's great because Bex whenever you guys uh, whenever the video is finished all your lovely comments disappear so if you are able to tag me or send me a message on Instagram that would be awesome let's see what else we've got on here oh back to your question Denise about Xbox or PS um, he is an Xbox man. Well, he makes games for Xbox and he plays Xbox. And he's making games for PC as well. <laughs> Elizabeth says her son is really into foxes. I love foxes. Last week we had a massive conversation. Well, not massive. <laughs> not nearly big enough <laughs> conversation about my obsession over I just don't ask you. Um, raccoons and that I love raccoons and that I wish I had a raccoon and that led to a conversation about how hedgehogs aren't in America apart from in zoos and things which was which is a little bit nuts for me but is I guess it's the same for you guys over here is there no raccoons over here thank you Rebecca for tagging me Carissa Wiley is great too. Yes, I do enjoy Carissa's as well. Do you know, there's just so many. And I, who else? Well, there's, I don't know, I just can't even think. Jennifer McGuire, of course. Uh, Christina Werner. Sandy Allnock can um, do some amazing cards, especially with paints as well. So let's cut out a couple more of these guys. I'm, by the way, I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. So I'm just, do, I'm just um, stamping and coloring and cutting out a couple so that I'm prepared for every eventuality. So who has bought the distress oxides and do I need them? That's my question. Have not yet purchased them because if I do, I'm going to want every single one. It's just the way my brain works and my addiction works. Hey, how cool is this die? I never even noticed this, even though I've been using it. That it cuts out three individual um, images, but it's all on one die, which lines up perfectly with the trio stamp. Pretty clever. Awesome job, Kelly from Long Pond. <laughs> Bunny says, so you've never had a raccoon family in your attic and had to move out until they removed the stadium. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Bunny, but I think that's kind of funny. I think I'd probably move in with them and be like, I want to keep one of these babies. Although in saying that, night, Denise. Um, in, say, in saying that, the other day, I woke up, went through to get Piper, wake her up, and um, 
as I walked through the corridor, I could hear this chirping and our corridor has no windows. It's just got, you know, a, a room, 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 room. So there's n no windows there, but there was this chirping right kind of on my head. And I think what's happened is there is a family of birds that have tried to nest in the eaves of our house and somehow got in through, well, I don't know what it's called, the insulation or something. And so there was this bird in our attic and that kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. I'm actually not too fond on that idea. So I very quickly brought my laptop out to the craft room and decided to work out here for the day because I didn't want this notion of a bird trapped in there and I think it just flew out again and it was nothing to nothing to worry about but oh got the shivers Laura Basson yes awesome Laura Basson do you like her excuse me for, for a second I'm going to the other side of my craft room to pick some tissue paper So I've got some tissue paper here and I'm thinking of trying to create a little bit of a pinata feel to my card and by that I mean give my card some fringe. So I'm going to start by cutting a couple of strips of tissue paper. I've got pink, white and blue here. And while I'm cutting it up, take a look at your comment. Rebecca says she's desperate to buy the oxides. Find it tough to get them in the UK. Ooh, Joanna Sheen's a full set for 50. Interesting. Might have to go there. Suze, when you say you took Tim's class, does that mean that he was given it? He was given the class. They blend really smooth and easily. They layer oh, and keep spots and integrity when dry and they don't go muddy. Ooh, enable our alert. The stress oxides are quite addictive and you won't stop using them says July. Once I got them, I fell in love instantly. You won't ever regret it. And they're very juicy. But we all love a juicy ink pad, don't we? Where can I go for this one? Oh, Delana, you've won? See, this is what I want to know. How do you choose which one? I just, I don't even know how I could pick just one. I don't think that's even possible in my mind. Ah, okay, so you said it was for the mermaid. So I'm guessing maybe a blue. <laughs> her hot mama, she's funny, I love her. Oh, Suze, Suze says that I should take Tim's class next year and to be honest I didn't really get to make um, I didn't really get to register for any classes last year it was I only discovered or only realized that I was going to get to go to CHA or creativation in I think it was running up to December so by that point of course everything had already locked out but I don't mind because I still got to go and see loads of people so here we go Suzanne hey Suzanne hello you got a fringe dye oh yeah that would be awesome can you guys see my big beastly fringe scissors here can you see them working in action they don't work so good if I try to use the top section 
But at the bottom, we're not doing too bad. You do need, I learned this from previously, especially with tissue paper, you need to have a good couple of layers so that it has something to bite into. I don't even remember where I got these from. I've been here forever. So Suzanne, you spent $60, huh? What did you buy? See, see, see. Just want to talk about everybody's crafty purchases. It's probably a bad idea, to be honest. Especially with uh, Craig watching. You'd be like, hmm, that wasn't in your craft room last week. <laughs> hey Stacy, thanks for joining us. So a little catch up. Oh there, that one didn't work well. A little catch up for anyone who has just joined us. I am using the Lawn Fawn Year 7 Pinata stamp and die. This little cutie here. I've stamped him out and I have coloured him in with some Copic markers. And now I'm playing with some tissue paper and a pair of fringe scissors. So this paper here, can you see? <laughs> like my friendship with Crafty Sue's, I'm pretty sure this paper is at least 10 years old. This paper I remember bringing home when I worked in a craft shop in Glasgow. And it's called silk straw paper or something like that or silk paper because of each of the little strands of silk in there and it's really quite pretty we love a bit of texture don't we ladies and gentlemen right so the, the most difficult bit about this whole process is trying not to cut all the way to the top because then it's all going to fall apart quite literally. MFT, my favorite things, has some cute stuff this new release. Mm. So we've also got Delana said antique paper. So the antique paper is that, oh, that's the distress oxides, right? And that's going to be your sand. Cool. <laughs> Always hide your credit card bill from hubby. Nah. He'll see, he'll see it anyway. I don't really look at the credit card bill. It's his problem. <laughs> oh, d oh dear. Those steaks you like are so expensive. I love it. <laughs> Rebecca says that she looks at other people's stuff, thinks, oh, I must buy that. Then you get it, and then you're like, now what? I think we're all guilty of that. Do you know what I think is the worst for that? Um, Pinterest. Pinterest, in my opinion, actually is just too much, like, overboard of inspiration. It's, it's I don't even think it's helpful at times. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I think I'll do white at the top and the bottom and don't rip it, Leslie. And I'm going to yours. Ooh. Just gonna use a glue. <laughs> Bunny, Bunny absolutely got busted there by Hubby Craig. Whoopsie. <laughs> I wonder if these fringe scissors may well, and I'm not sure, so don't hold me to it. They may have come from a shop called Tiger. Um, I'm not sure if this is a UK only shop. I think something tells me it might be Swedish or something. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure I saw some in there. So I'm trying, when I'm adding this, to overlap it slightly so that you get an idea that it is actually a fringe. The fringe scissors look like a herb scissors. I've never heard of herb scissors, but I suppose you could chop chives or something. 
with them. Yeah, I reckon that would work. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna die. There we go. Pinterest is one of those time sucks. <laughs> I think. You have to I think you have to limit yourself to it. Otherwise you just end up getting really depressed or something. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Rebecca, uh, pin at Rebecca, it's the only way you can remember what they did with this stuff. <laughs> so do you guys like to get inspiration and then remake cards that you see from other people? Or do you prefer coming up with your own ideas? I always think it's interesting to know how other people how other people's brains work <laughs> Bunny's talking about um, whenever you come off Instagram I mean you come off Pinterest and then you go straight on Instagram guilty I have to say, um, mostly because he's watching, <laughs> that Craig's, no, Craig is really, really good. He will see, he was actually the one that saw the video for Tim's Distress Oxides before I did. And then he, he mailed me the link and I was like, oh, and actually at the time I was convinced that I didn't want it. And I was like, mm, no, it it looks like it's going to be really chalky and the texture is going to be weird. And I have a bit of a weird thing about that. Um, Craig, Craig has this drink, this not drink dispenser, a water bottle, just like a sports water bottle thing. And the texture, it's, 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 it's bum. Be? It's rough, but it's not, I don't know, it doesn't look like it's supposed to be rough and I don't like it. I don't like the texture of it. So Stacy says that Martha Stewart makes a pair of fringe scissors, but not so sure if they're still being sold. I'm pretty sure that whoever um, said that, sorry, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, that it looks like a herb scissors then that actually is a pretty good call I think you might be right that you could if it's something that interests you or here's a better idea <laughs> go and spend your 60 pounds at maybe my favorite thing and get a free die yeah how's that that would work right bunny says she needs layout help and she's new to cards well, I would recommend, well, I think you already are very, um, very prolific on Instagram. There's lots of, lots of inspiration there, but don't just browse, you know, pick something and, and try it. I think very often it, Especially if you see experienced crafters and, and you think, oh, I could never do that. Just bear in mind that we all started somewhere. Everyone is, everyone's at different, different um, points on their crafty journey. What do you think of my pinata so far? Is it looking like a hot mess? <laughs> or do you think it's going to magically become beautiful? I'd love this for my fourth anniversary work card, says Jasmine, hinting. Jasmine, remind me when it is. When's your work anniversary? Oh, I think I know. It, well, it's the start of the month. Is it next week? I can't remember. Suze says, you can layer, oh, that moved, hold on. You can layer the same color regular distressing over the oxides to tone down the chalky look. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't finish my story. Typical Leslie. I 
thought that the Distress Oxides would have a really chalky finish. So I actually was not that bothered about the whole thing. And when I was at Creativation, I finally got round to going to the Tim Holtz booth and I mean when it wasn't absolutely jam-packed full of crafty people and they had all the samples on the wall and I just went I was like mm -mm. and I touched it and I was like oh it's not chalky oh I really want it <laughs> oh dear So Susan's talking about scrapbooks because Susan and I, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, I don't think I did, we used to run a challenge for Noelle Hyman uh, over on paperclipping.com which was a, a scrapbooking or is a scrapbooking site. If you like scrapbooking I very much recommend that you head over there. I'm, I'm, I believe Noelle still has her video archives and everything there so there's so much inspiration over there definitely recommend you go check it out and Susan and I used to do the challenges on behalf of Noelle so Sue says that she does her own thing for scrapbook pages and mini books um, but with cards I try different techniques but I, that I see, but don't recreate cards exactly. Okay, cool. Bunny agrees, fine with scrapbooks and mini, car, mini books, but cards are so small. I think that's actually a really good um, point that perhaps, and I may be um, potentially stereotyping or something but if you have come from doing scrapbook pages I wonder if your mental like mindset is a bit different I don't know for sure but yes Do -do -do. have you guys ever made a real pinata I have it sounded like uh, when my friend asked me to make one, I absolutely jumped at the chance because I mean, it's crafting, right? And it was for our godson's christening, I think, if I remember correctly. And his mom, Sarah, is from California. And so she liked the idea of having a pinata, so. I got everything and I started crafting. Oh, it took so long. Those I didn't have my fringe scissors back then, which is probably part of the problem. And it just took me forever. I once I was done, I was I was done, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to cut this one a little bit shorter to like the end of the the where the fringe starts because oops I want a really small fringe for the top up here if I can do that and it looks like I'm making a right mess standard Elizabeth says that she tries techniques from videos but try to use her stamps that she already owns. I think that's the best thing. Well, like I said, I, I kind of think that there's no right or wrong way that you have to just, I think it's your own creative process and do what feels right for you. <laughs> Mentally, I'm way out there, babe, says Bunny Dobby. You're so sweet. All right, let's see if I can get this skinny malink on here. Will I 
bit sticking my head over the whole thing. Okay, we've got a little fringy fringe. I think it's looking all right. And I am actually going to die cut into it in just a minute. Dun, dun, dun. I think. I think, I think, because I don't know. Right, let me grab my bucket for my bin. a closer look and give it a little bendy bend so much texture oh I love that do you love that is this going to be my card background yeah I think so I think this is going to be the front of my card actually Suzanne I make it up as I go along that's part of part of my charm <laughs> um, I and whenever I inevitably make a mistake I just cover it up and pretend it didn't happen but you guys get to see that's the thing Okay, so here's my mental process. I'm going to put an aperture on the front of the card, like this, and a little, maybe, I've got a couple of colors of card here, maybe the pink border like this. And my idea is we're gonna hang Monsieur Pignata down from here. And I'll build up the inside of the card to perhaps make it look like it's hanging from a tree. So actually what I'm going to do is, um, what am I going to do? I'm a bit scared about cutting into this so soon. Let's have a look at some things. What if you die cut the pinata out of the fringe paper? Maybe that's what you're going to do. No, but isn't that an amazing idea? I kind of wish I'd done an extra bit so that I could try that. That would be fun. Although I think part of the challenge will be um, the the bits that like hang over the side, you'll end up cutting off a lot of the fringe. It's not so bad this is a straight line, but if I cut in like this and out, then it may, I don't know. I don't know. Let's try that another day. <laughs> Bunny's scared about cutting this. Hey Bunny, what's the worst that could happen? It's, it's just paper. Just paper. Right, I'm going to move over to the inside of the card before Bunny has a uh, has a freak attack. <laughs> oh. Where are my dice? So I'm looking for my rectangular dies which were here a minute ago I'm sure of it move these out of the way first right I'm going to build the inside panel for my card and I'm going to use this bunny got fluff Fluff got on my stamp and I just messed up a sentiment. Oh yay, Bunny is crafting with me. That makes me so happy. Craft with me. Who else is crafting? Anybody? Anybody else crafting out there? But I want to know. And I, I hate it when you get fluff on your stamp. It used to be cat hairs whenever we had had the cat. It used to be the cat hairs would drive me insane. Drive me bonkers. And so many of my scrapbook pages, when you flick through, there would be a cat hair sticking out of, of like one of the photos or something. We are memory keepers, says Delana. We are memory keepers has some fringe tape that is cut and has a tape strip on the back. Ooh, what colours do they have? Lots of different colours. New rule. Ink mistakes get a sequin. I'm with you. I agree with this rule. 
that's pretty much how um how I uh, determine where my sequins go. Although I think it might have been crafty goddess Jennifer McGuire, probably, who recommended a a uh, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's a particular eraser. I'll get it for you. Oh, sorry. Um, let me grab it. It's like um, it's almost like an eraser for rubbing out pen marks. So it's like a grey color, and it's oh, I know it is. Here it is. It is a sand eraser, and it says for ink actually. So if you get a little bit of ink on it, you can rub it out with the eraser. Stacy says she's too tired to craft. Stayed up till 3 a.m. making my son's teacher a card. Tell us about it. I want to know what was on it. <laughs> Ooh. Black ink on pale pink. Oh, that's hard. I tend to, I'm, an, I'm a late night crafter. What about you guys? That's normally my crafting. Well, it starts, oops, it starts when Piper goes to bed. Anytime after sort of eight. And then it can go on normally to about midnight. A bit rubbish at stopping. I, I, I stop a card and then I'm like, oh, I'm quite tired actually. And then I look at the time like, oh gosh. Oh. So somebody's saying, I'm sorry to hear that, Rebecca. Let me scroll back and figure out what we're sorry about. My puppy Lucy always used to come in when I'd pull my crafts off out and lick the paper to help me out. Mm -hmm, they like to help. Sadly, she had cancer and passed away just before Christmas. I am sorry to hear that, Rebecca, but I think that um, Lucy is probably helping lots of people craft in Dolly Heaven. Um, and well, let's face it, dogs just bring joy no matter where they are. Cancer is a real drag. Eh? Rubbish. It would have been her ninth birthday tomorrow. Oh, quite a young little puppy. I um, mentioned last week that I walk a couple of doggies. And I actually this week took Hetty out for a walk. She is a Vimarana, which is one of those dogs that kind of looks like a silvery blue colour. She's beautiful, but she's just so strong. I find it hard to I find it hard to keep up with her at the moment. So I have cut a couple of extra of these. This is the small stitch rectangle from Long Fawn and I cut, I cut a couple of extra scraps with it and I'm using the the cloud the puffy cloud border dies to cut a couple of these out in fact I'm going to slightly change this up a little Elizabeth 
says that she is sitting in the kitchen while the car the kiddos watch cartoons which is where her craft desk is and it is 7 a.m so she's thinking about breakfast soon pretty sure you were eating breakfast last week when you joined us weren't you honey and we were drooling over your what was it yogurt or something does it bother anyone on here asks july that <laughs> you spend so much time making a card for that special person and they just discard it on the side on site after reading it i am guilty i went back and slashed it <laughs> yeah um i don't know you see i don't actually think i care that much i <laughs> you probably sound so weird but i don't craft for them <laughs> i'm not doing this for them this is for me this is for um <laughs> this is for my therapy and my enjoyment not for them so it doesn't really bother me in some ways it, it it would if they if I saw them open it and they're like uh, you know open they're like huh that's nice and I'm like but look at the stamp isn't the stamp so cute that's what I would do <laughs> Ugh. so Rebecca says that she was a golden Lucy is a golden retriever not old oh you only knew for three hours before she went that is heartbreaking sweetie i am so sorry to hear that stacy says oh i'm making right dog, dog's dinner this let me open this up then stacy watercolored a background waterish scene and had an otter from my favorite things otter love you that is an adorable stamp set i love it uh, uh, uh. and die i die cut thanks from a hero art stamp and cut it and a wink and wink of stella everybody loves a wink of stella okay so i'm not sure if you guys can really see this this is a this is a die oh here we go let me just pull this apart a bit from wish enabling alert have you guys found wish yet on your mobile phone or device you can go and download an app called wish and it the, lots of the stuff come i think they come from china and places like that but you can search for craft dies and they have quite a selection of craft dies and they are super de duper cheap now i will say they take ages to come and i will say as well it's not going to be the quality of for example one fun on elephant my favorite things etc but i bought some to experiment and uh, yeah I'm I'm enjoying them this was quite a fun one I thought so I bought that Delana says I have two little fold-up desks in my craft room that I pull out from my kids to craft with me and they have their own box of stamps and inks and love to join me yes I have um, donated many stamps and inks to Piper but funny thing is she always wants to play with you know th th the newest release and everything but mm, I wonder where she gets that from <laughs> Jasmine says she still has all my cards that's why you were my favorite Jasmine <laughs> have I gotten used to the size of the big shot asks Suze the platform takes up so much room compared to the cuddle bug maybe it's just because I have a small space um I have kind of got used to it in the fact that I don't really have any other choice but to get used to it <laughs> but yeah I know I'm not I'm not a big fan of the length of the platform and the fact that it takes up a lot of room with the cuddle bug it was so compact but um, I do like that you get that 
extra little half inch width to go through the machine. I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm living with it. I forgot to do my grass, so I'm just going to do that now. And a little grass on here. What have we got here? July. If it's in my house for a family member, I'll snatch it back. But otherwise, it doesn't bother me. I made a light up card for my mum and she just said, oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that the things like the Chibitronics ones, the, the light up cards, it, it can be a bit frustrating, especially because not only did you craft, which, you know, take, takes you time to do, but you also did science. You had to, you had to think, you, it was like, you know, you had to go back to school and think, oh, how do circuits work again? And how can I make this work? And how can I incorporate a battery into this malarkey? Honestly, it's like you need some sort of certificate. Although I have to say, the um, Chibitronics are, they're easy once you get into it. I would recommend it, it's lots of fun. Stacey is talking about um, her um, kid's teacher. She sent him home with Lego, like counting blocks, because a classmate destroyed a sword my son built with them. Oh, I love teachers like that. They're the best. We got in, we got, Craig and I kind of, kind of, a little bit, got in trouble. Not really, but it felt like it with the teacher in Piper School because she comes home with these reading slips which are about this this size and they get lost right <laughs> they come home they fall out of a book bag and um, sometimes upstairs sometimes downstairs, and, and they just get lost and you try to keep on top of it and put a note in with what Piper has read but Piper is such uh, she's She's just addicted and she will read like um, you get little books about this size made for kids. It's like animal magic forest or something like that. And um, she'll go through one of them in about two nights or something, two, three nights. It's kind of hard to keep up, but it's no excuse. I should just do it. Just have it done. Okay. So friends, I'm going to add some color to this. <laughs> Bunny says that's a cool dye. It is, I like it. Yeah. Jasmine says Piper is a mini you. That is, that is quite true. She is a mini me. I'm gonna do some Iggy blending with a brush today. Have you guys used any of the brushes? You can get brushes from Clarity, but I wanted to experiment and these are makeup gallery these are from Poundland so they cost me a pound each because I think that the the bl ink blending brushes are probably better to be fair um, but I didn't want to spend the money on them I thought that I would I would uh, just experiment with something a little bit more affordable and the thing is about these is that they're really too soft. Do you know what's actually perfect? Um, a, a shaving brush. So a shaving brush, the bristles are, are perfect. I think the bristles, I heard somewhere that the bristles are made out of badger hair. I'm not sure if that's true, but it sounds like it might, it might be true or maybe it's synthetic now, but they're actually really good. They're nice and stiff, but I'm just gonna use this. I found though, that um, I had an excess piece of packaging and I rolled up into a little tube so I can slide it up whoop, like that which makes the hairs shorter and um, it means that I get a bit better coverage and I can actually slide it down if I want to we'll give it a go Sabrina says, 
I made my husband a Valentine's card this year after a long hiatus from crafting. He noticed and said, we have to put this somewhere safe so he could keep it. You need to keep him. If he said that, you definitely need to keep him. Aww. It's just amazing whenever you have a hubby that, that gets it. Mm -mm -mm. So I don't think you guys can see this. Let me bring it a bit closer and hope the lights do some. Mm, it tries to automatically white balance it, but there is some green there. But it's really light, almost like a pastel color, which I like because all of these colors so far are nice and soft colors. I put it there, you might be able to see a difference. And I'm going to do these as well because, in case you guys have not figured it out yet, <laughs> this is going to be like a little canopy of trees. Aww. So, and my pinata is going to be hanging from them because that's where the pinata goes, hangs from the tree. I guess you can hang it from inside as well. So Richard back again. Hey Richard. Richard, we were talking about computer games earlier and um, how we've got some, some watchers and viewers, husbands or Xboxy people. Thank you for joining me. Sue says she likes the way that I labeled each brush. Yep, that is just a little piece of washi tape. And um, I only got a couple of different ones. So I have, well, I didn't have purple washi tape, so I had to use ribbon and it keeps falling off. So I need to, this obviously means I need to buy purple washi tape. <laughs> um, so I've got a couple, couple of different colors here. I haven't got orange, um, but I tend to either use the the red or the yellow for orange, and um, I probably pick up an extra one pound makeup brush when I'm next anywhere near a pound land. Everything has to be labelled, says Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine, we might give away too many secrets about my. Um, about my obsession with everything having a place in the home. So true. Mm -mm. <laughs> Rebecca says, Stacy, I literally sat with the card in my hand, grinning at her, going, It lights up, it lights up. Look, you press here and oh look and she had a I don't really care <laughs> look on her face well I know who's getting a store-bought card <laughs> next year <laughs> oh, Sabrina says my mom still puts my cards on the fridge it's like we're having a mum competition now earlier it was a <laughs> husband's oh it got straight here Blendy, blendy, blend. Hey Leslie, Richard, how many years have I known you and you still spell my name wrong? You silly boy. I missed computer game chat, very sad. I'm waiting for some gaming with a special friend. <laughs> Rebecca says, Rebecca says that maybe her mom has been removed from the card list altogether. I'll teach her. I think that's, um, that's pretty, pretty unkind, Rebecca. Yeah, I don't know. I think if Piper turned around and said something like that to me, I'd be like, well, I don't know. I'm pretty sure those stitches I got when you were born uh, signs me up for a lifetime <laughs> subscription of, um, <laughs> of birthday cards. Give her some cardstock and some pencils and tell her to tell her to do it yourself card. That's a good idea like that. Right, so I'm thinking, do I want to just leave these white and maybe do a blue bluish background or do I make these out of a 
a brownie color. Let's let's assemble. Avengers assemble. Except it's not Avengers, it's crafting. Oh, I think that's probably going to be going down too much. Oh no, this is why. This is why. So, da, da, da. that like that. Only my husband gets my cards, says Elizabeth. Except for people on my Christmas list. I cannot make Christmas cards, like handmade ones. I think I've probably made maybe, oh, I don't know, like half a dozen or something. I, I don't know, I just don't really get into it. Like, I can't really do it. I don't like the, I'm gonna split these bad boys up. I don't like the pressure of it. So I just, I make a card, and if it turns out to be a Christmas card, then it turns out to be a Christmas card, hey ho. But, um, yeah, I don't really like it. I don't, I, yeah, don't like the pressure. I'm not a fan. So I'm going to do a little bit of layering here. I think I need a color. Do you agree? So my husband is actually probably stay in place and one of the only people who actually doesn't get a handmade card and they we used to have this kind of a running joke about how he was the only person that I would actually spend money <laughs> on uh, for a card and that's why he would get a, um, a store-bought card rather than a handmade card. I'm not sure how much of that would mean making excuses. <laughs> I'll do one for my stepdad and conveniently leave her right <laughs> You are a bad egg. Okay, I'm gonna color them in. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. I am going to use my, this is probably gonna be a mistake, my yellow blending brush. And I'm going to blend with, ba -ba -da -ba. let's see, tea dye? Um, maybe there's not vintage full, there's too much. Antique linen sounds like I could build up the colours quite nicely. We'll give that a go. Jasmine took photos and got them printed like postcards. That's a good idea. Those light up cards, says Stacy. Uh, are so neat and they look very timely. I hope you have received other reactions to your cards that made up for it. I love it when someone opens my card and giggles and smiles. Yeah, that's definitely a, definitely a plus. I sent out a whole load of cards last week actually and this week I've been seeing them being tagged on Instagram and it's been so lovely. I don't know if Elizabeth John is still here. She, she kindly um, tagged me and um, Snow, whose tag is Marble Mine. Snow, if you're there, I don't know whether you are, but if you are, is it Marble Mine or Marble Mean? Because I always, I always wonder. Okay, so in fact, my yellow brush is making it look a little yellow, but I think it's fine. I definitely want that tree dye now. I bought a few of the Chinese layered stitch shapes, says Crafty Suze. Uh, 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 like the star and heart and a motorcycle for hubby. And um, they're fine and more trendy. Yeah, um, I don't have any, I haven't really had any massive problems with them. I bought some rectangles, which had a dotted edge around it. And when I cut it, there was like a 
kind of like a residue here and I had to sort of scrape it off. I think it's got to do with the way that they coat their dyes. Um, when we were in Arizona, I went to Dyes Direct, which is a company that makes dyes for people like Lawn Fawn, Mama Elephant, etc. And there's 16 steps to making a dye. 16 steps. Okay, so this gives you a massive appreciation for how much those suckers cost now. Um, it is crazy the amount of steps you have to go through to make a dye. But what they do is they, they get this big massive sheet, probably about the size of my craft mat here, and they it's all sort of cut out, um, but still attached in one sheet. And then they, they put it on a rack. You know in schools they have those drying racks that are in scrapbook shops. You know the way they have those 12 by 12 scrapbook page holders? A bit like a rack like that. And they put it in this big room and they airbrush the paint on and it, it, it paints all over. And like I just have been using dyes for so long and never even thought that was a thing. Yeah, so each of these dyes have all been painted. Weird, huh? Here we go. Let's have a check in on some comments. I'm too busy chatting away to myself here. Rebecca says she used the fairies from Lawn Fawn and made a little fairy light oh a little fairy house light up. It was the first one that I made that lit up and she was so proud of it. Oh brilliant. I love it. In fact, last week I did a an announcement because there was a giveaway on my blog and YouTube for um a for for this actually. Da, da, da. Chibi lights, suck it stickers. So in here, it's awesome. You get a sketchbook. Well, it's called a sketchbook, but basically, basically it's like an instruction manual and it walks you through it and it reminds you of um, your GCSE physics or something about circuits. And then you get a little kit with your copper tape you get some white lights and some red, yellow, blue lights and a couple of batteries. And I did post the, the winner on my blog, hungryheffycrafts.com, but the winner has not yet come forward. So I um, will try and contact her again, but if there has been no response from her, I will pick another winner. Well, you never know. You never know. I really enjoy the Chibitronics. Um, the the stuff from Chibitronics. I always think it's so fun. You do have to kind of be in the mood for it because it's not going to be a quick two minute card. You're going to be there for a for a little while. Jasmine's saying that it will look good on a wedding invitation. Um, it, do you know, it would on a wedding card, a wedding invitation, um, I just don't think anyone has the time for that. <laughs> so, well, maybe that's just me speaking because I, I made my own wedding, uh, our wedding invitations for Craig and I, and I just could not cope. They were just too similar and I got super bored and frustrated and I, I'm telling you for the Chibitronics ones it it is a bit costly and it's definitely fun and it's definitely worth giving it a go and trying it out and I think you'll be surprised how it um, can have a lot of it can, it, be, it can be quite easy once you get going but at the same time it's not going to be a five minute thing it's going to be a little bit more time consuming right so I'm going to start sticking this guy together 
Let me check up on some of these. The dies I will use long term classic styles. I will still invest in the USA med ones. I would definitely agree with that. The the um, best quality you're going to get from um, somewhere like the USA, definitely. Do, 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 do. I want some of these to go on top, some to go under. So what I'm going to do, thinking out loud, is add a little tape to the back of that. Pop that down. I didn't add tape to like the bottom section here because I want to tuck some underneath. Let's have a look. Elizabeth, you need to try doing a light up card. There's so much fun. I concur. You got to try it. Try it. Let us know how you got on. And um, what else have we got there? We've got I did Christmas tags for the Christmas, um, Tonic tags for the kids Christmas cards for the friends last year. They help color and assembly them. Oh yeah. The kids love it. Piper absolutely adores anything. Like sometimes I'll make a card and I'll be like, look at this. She's like, oh my, um, does it, does it move? Does it, does it light up? And I'm like, no, not this one, honey. She's like, oh, oh well. <laughs> so. I almost put the pressure on myself now that it has to be, has to be fancy. Hello, Connecticut. Well, actually, your name's Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Thank you so much for joining us. You just arrived home. I am. Um, I'm so glad that you decided to join us and are able to join us. I never really know what the best time is for people because. Um, well, different people will prefer different times, right? So I figured, well, I'll just have to do it whenever I plan to craft and figure it out that way. Do, do, do. If you deleted the repost of the giveaway, the Chibi Tonics giveaway, can you still win if the winner doesn't respond? Let me, um figure that out. If you deleted the repost of the Chibi Tonics giveaway, can you still win if the winner doesn't respond? I don't know. I don't know. I would need to look into that further. Sue so says, Hubby just came home from business trip. He said, did the lady on TV talk, just talk to you? <laughs> hey, crafty Sue's hubby. I'm talking to you now. It's the magic of TV these days. Suze has me on the big TV, which just seems like quite a daunting, um, a daunting prospect for me. I'm going to move these this way so I have a skinny next to a fat. Um, I'm going to tuck Monsieur Gros underneath. Chibi Tonics would be amazing. I tried making a card once with normal LEDs. It got a little bulky. Yeah, you know, I've had loads of people comment and stuff and be like, mm, I wouldn't spend my money on Chibi Tonics because you can buy these LEDs, etc. But the thing is about the Chibi Tronics is they, they're kind of made for us and they're made to be, to be easy and they're made to work nicely in cards and a lot of the tutorials and things out there are going to show you how to use cheapy tronics are probably not maybe I'm making an assumption here going to be for like random nor or normal LEDs I don't know I think some things are just worth in investing in Bunny says she's an hour late feeding my man. <laughs> Why can't they learn to turn on the pot to steam something? The roast is cooked. Oh, I wish it, I had roast. Enjoy your dinner, Bunny. I shall um, 
see you another time. Enjoy your food. Better not keep your man waiting. I think this is the one that I wanted. A glue liner. Let me move this. It's kind of creating a bit of a shadow. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking over your shoulder crafting. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask you guys. Do you like this view? The straight down view? Because my computer screen is here. And my microphone is there. So I have some craft space. But I wanted to know if that that view works for you because we could have it maybe like up here pointing down and you'd get to see me but I figured you're really here for the crafting anyway and um, so it's probably better to have the top down view that was my opinion anyway but I'd love to hear what you guys think what do you think what does everyone think of the Uchi's animation stamps? They look like fun, but I like color, so I'm not sure how to incorporate them. Stacy, good question. I saw some of the um, the Uchi Uchi's designs uh, in action, and they're really fun. But I would agree with you. I think they're fun as like a um, a one-off maybe I would definitely try them but I my own personal opinion would be I don't think I would use it as much hmm. let's see Elizabeth says she's not a big fan of them I'm not getting Simon Says Something because I don't want them. Mm, interesting. Um, I did a video at CHA or at Creativation with Uchi. And the other day, Craig was like, oh my gosh, this video has all of a sudden got lots of views. And I said to him, ha ha, I bet you it's because the Simon Says Stamp kit has got them in it. So maybe people are Googling it and wondering, hmm, what's this? But yeah, I... Did you guys see some of their punches? Their punches, they had they had this little fox one. Oh, it's like my little foxy. Um, it's a punch, but it embosses as well as cutting. And it's really cute, and it's the kind of thing that I definitely think that um, I, like Piper or something would use, or you put it on maybe an invitation or for making I don't know making decor items or something but I don't think I'd be able to incorporate the same thing into every card I don't see the the versatility of it hmm. Ben's here as well hi Ben if I was to do a video I'd do it the same way good glad to hear it I'm still waiting for you to die cut your fringe and hoping the little pieces Oh, that's a great idea, Suzanne. Let's do that. First of all, I'm going to create a frame using this pink cardstock. So let's grab the, the big boy. Ugh. Run this through. I thought the pink cardstock was quite pretty. These dies are both Spellbinder dies from way back when. Delana says, Del is it Delana or Delena? I don't know how you're going to answer that in phonetics, preferably. I want to make sure I'm getting your name right. Okay. Let's see. He's so pretty. I'm going to do another one for the inside of a car. Ooh, I am glad. I'm glad that you like this view because it means I don't have to change anything. Unless you probably told, <laughs> it's probably figured out. I mean, at the start of this video, it's not that easy to set up one of these um, YouTube lives. It, 
I think it's easy if you're on your phone and you just click a button and it does magic for you. But on the computer, there's so many settings and it asks for like a bit rate. I don't even know what that is. Craziness. Okay. So here we go. Are we all panicking? <laughs> Let's take out this one here. And the idea is I'm going to have an oval frame here and I'll have one on the inside to sandwich it all together. So I need to cut a frame kind of in the middle here. So I Think I'm not going to use any washi tape. I'm just going to use the power of hoping that it's not going to move around. Hmm. Let's see. Are we ready for the moment of truth? Move this over so you can actually see. I noticed that the, the camera, the light adjusts quite a bit, so I hope that's not distracting. Right, I think, I think I'm straight, guys. Let's pop this in here. Hold it down. Deep breath, deep breath. Oh. The terror. Not really. It'll be fine. Ooh, lots of static. Oh. Okay. Oh, I thought I'd lost a piece, but it's the um, the white piece of uh, the silk thingamajig. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pinata. Come on, let's do this thing. The second, the second. Oh, oh, okay. Now I can't remember which one was which. Delana. Or Delena, like I'm walking down a lane. Okay. I, I'm wondering if I do him up here. I might actually get two out of this. If this works, you're a genius. Come on now. I can't believe you went no washi. I'd be terrified. I was too scared of the washi tape ripping the... Um, Ah, you see there, that pulled, pulled off and ripped. It was just the static that pulled it off and ripped, I think. Oh, no, it wasn't. It's where the die cut the dangly bits. Oh, this might not turn out. Let's see. Oh, he's all falling apart. Mm. I think maybe that would need a little bit more planning or something because where the the die has cut across the dangly bits it's not actually stuck to anything so I mean you could still kind of make it work I guess <laughs> Suzanne's biting her nails <laughs> oh. well not worry about him for now we will put him to the side and focus focus on the card at hand and then see what happens. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, are we liking it so far? I think we're gonna need to have a, a greeting or something down here perhaps. Okay, I think the magic is gonna happen when I place this in here, but totally needs a mat. And I'm thinking blue, blue. Bear with me, like I'll get some blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. A little bit of blue. Need to cheat a little. Just use some pencil marks.
Suze is running out to get Mexican food. Oh, I'm jealous. Well, I am jealous, but I'm also, um, I'm also a little sad because I, I really enjoy Mexican food. Really hate. I don't use that word. Um, <laughs> I don't use that word often, but I really hate cilantro. It gives me migraines and when I was in the good old US of A it is so hard to um, to I guess get anything without cilantro especially a Mexican thing and um, I think it is a very popular herb herb we say herb lots of people say herb I think it's very popular but it does strange things to my body so I am not a fan and in fact when when um, when we were in America when I was in America in January I bullied my friend Nick I was like please let's go to the cheesecake factory we need to go to the cheesecake factory he was like no it's not going to be any good I said come on I need to go because it's um you know from the big bang theory and finally he agreed <laughs> we went and I got a burrito and I said no cilantro and I made sure to say cilantro because we say coriander over here and sometimes that doesn't quite communicate when you say no coriander so I was like are you sure that's okay is that okay not to have any curry and any cilantro yes sure madam that's fine and anyway it came out and i took a bite and yeah it the, the, it was everywhere it was in the rice it was on the salsa and i was like hey i'm really sorry but uh this this is called cilantro like, oh i'm so sorry and um and they, they went off and then all of a sudden there was like four people like basically I, I think they were looking at me as if I was nuts for not liking cilantro I'm like I'm really sorry it gives me migraines um, like it, if it's too difficult to make a burrito without cilantro totally fine I'll have something else no 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 that's fine do you want a salad while you wait I'm like no thanks I'll just I'll just wait and then they brought out the, the replacement and the the waiter said extra cilantro and i was like um i hope um you mean no cilantro right and he was like yeah yeah i mean no cilantro i was not in the mood for joking because my migraine was starting to kick in and by this point nick had already eaten his burger and um i started eating <laughs> my burrito and then i took like two bites and i was like ah this has got cilantro in it and um, I had to call them back and in the end I, I, I just said to Nick I have to go I have to go lie down I need to go get a pair of sunglasses and I need to get some drugs and some water and yeah it wasn't fun so enjoy your food crafty Sue's but no cilantro for me <laughs> Rebecca said I did not know that cilantro was coriander mm-hmm same thing both evil in my opinion some people love it and i can actually it's almost like my my body thinks it's what do you call it kryptonite because <laughs> everybody goes mm -mm, there's there is cilantro here cilantro has been here we used to and um, our friends mark and helen love love their cilantro or coriander and at the start they used to be like there's just a tiny little bit this time like i can't eat it guys i just can't eat it well, don't fall apart on me. That's unacceptable. Oh, I know what's happened. Here we go. See down here. Maybe try and encourage this. Actually, that's not going to matter because I'm putting a frame on it. Down here where you have um, like the fringe like this. And then I have cut the oval like this. Oh, no. That has fallen off. But as I said, that will not matter get size putting a frame on it <laughs> beautiful uh, Suzanne thank you so much for joining us thank you for trying the fringe the pinata idea 
And you have such a happy laugh. Aww, thanks. I'm glad that you enjoyed me chatting away to myself in the craft room, even though it's not really to myself. <laughs> and Stacy says um, she lives in California. And we love her cilantro. And I do understand it's an acquired taste and people love it or hate it. I, I think you're right that it is an acquired taste, but I also think that it's something more than that. Um, I read somewhere, although admittedly, you shouldn't believe everything that you read, people. Um, but I did, in fact, read somewhere that um, there's a genetic thing. I, don't ask me much more than that because I obviously read it but didn't actually read it all. But it's to do with people who are of Gallic descent, like like me, obviously, and my Irish tones, my um, Irish accent, you can probably tell. Um, so people from Ireland, Scotland, and certain parts of France, there's some sort of genetic thing where it uh, has like an intolerance to coriander or something. I'm not really sure how much of it was true or how much of it was backed with medical information. But that's what that's what I go to and I'm like it's not my fault it's not just that I don't like it I really do think that it should be like nuts you know and, and you go to a restaurant and um, it'll say on the menu this contains nuts I think it should have a coriander reference as well I always assumed it was like a kind of salsa ranch type thing. I've never been to America, so I don't know. Rebecca, whereabouts are you? I think you said earlier that you are find it, you find it tough to find distress oxides in the UK. So obviously I'm in the UK too. Where are you? I'd love to know. We call cilantro seeds coriander here. Interesting. I did not know that. Every day is a school day. I'm trying my hardest to pick off all the oops, layers of all this with my filthy dirty nails. I keep, if I'm gonna do these videos, I should probably get a manicure, right? Do you think I can justify that to Craig? Get a, get a manicure. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that um, that is something that I could could persuade Craig that I needed to get. Okay, I'm going to put this straight on the front and then I'm going to dangle pin from the one on the inside just because. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to need to put my head over the top of this. So. a little bit of straight tape in there, not tape, tissue in there. That is okay. Fabulous. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And doop -de -de -doo. he's going to go there. And I could do some mirror stamping, but I'm not sure I'm really, I'm not bothered at the moment to be honest. I think I'm just going to stick him down although I think I might put a layer of foam between him just to bulk him out a little um, let me go and grab some okay so in a recent video I shared with you um, little craft stash that I bought from a fix it crafts fix it craft dot uk and I um, got this this stuff which is foam which has adhesive on both sides so oh, I'm gonna cut him out of that I'm just gonna run them through like this Rebecca 
lives in Eastbourne, east of England. Interesting. And Rebecca, if do you know where Guildford is? Um, I live in between Guildford and Portsmouth. So, um, yeah. I don't think that's too far away from you, actually. Not that my geography is, is terribly good. Stacy says I am Irish and Spanish. <laughs> I guess you've got to be a blend to eat it. <laughs> Although I get migraines almost daily. Maybe cilantro is a culprit. You should try it. You should try cutting it out and see. Although I guess it's hard though, isn't it? Whenever you don't really know. I'm gonna get some thread. Some thread, some thread, some thread. I'm gonna get this thread and I'm going to wrap it around the belly. Like that. Oh, it's super sticky, this stuff. Yeah, you should try um, try cutting it out if you get migraines. I'm, I'm sure your doctor and whatever's already told you all this stuff anyway. Um, I'm not sure if you guys follow me on Facebook but I've been having some some issues with nausea I'm feeling really sick and the actually you see pity me I got my blood taken today lots of pity please <laughs> um, I uh, they think it might be my gallbladder strangely enough and I have been advised to cut out dairy and I'm Irish I love my tea cutting out dairy is not an easy task for me because I actually like a lot of milk in my tea so it's been a little bit of a challenge Rebecca lives right next to the sea oh I do like to be beside the sea do talk a lot of rubbish sometimes too. Our Rebecca lives, uh, grandparents live in Guildford. Oh, go and see your granny and granda. Come and, come and craft with me in person when you go visit them. Wouldn't that be awesome? Right. Let's get this bad boy in action. Do you think like there? I think there. Let's hold him down so that he doesn't maneuver around too much. Elizabeth's in Brisbane, grew up in Sydney, but have got family in Oxfordshire, Wokingham and Bristol. Oh cool. I've got family in, I think it's Brisbane. Is it Brisbane? My auntie and uncle live in Australia and I have a funny feeling it's Brisbane. So there you go. Okay, I'm gonna do um, liquid adhesive for this guy. Because I think that'll work better. I've got this little studio mat guy, but he is, oh, here we go. He's running out of it. This is one of my favorite glues, wet glues. I think it's great. And I love that it dries clear. So for all those smudges we were talking about earlier, you can uh, have a little bit more forgiveness. Okay, hold my breath while I get this in place. Although I know that the multi mat will actually um, give me a little bit of forgiveness. <laughs> Let's see. No, they haven't. I guess you're talking about your doctors. Your doctors, you're on the waiting list to go to UC Davis Migraine Clinic and I'm going to see if I notice any change with and without cilantro. Yeah. Well, I can tell you that I um, 
it, it affects me and I know that it affects others as well so they say that there's certain things that can trigger migraines my um, brother-in-law I guess he um, he his migraines were triggered by cheese and chocolate so both of these things worth noting <laughs> I can't eat in the morning because I'm dairy free. I'm such a big crybaby. Vat da di da. Right, my friends. Oh, it's a bit staticky. Oh, he's cute. Let's add some um sweeties. It's a bit hard to stick down there. Stay there, please get these on here so i was thinking of adding a oh yes let's do that first i was thinking of adding a greeting on here i think just to maybe do you think do you think i should add a greeting or do you think i should just leave it as is thoughts 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 hey ricky oh, i'm so glad ricky's here ricky is another computer games geek and i mean geek in the most loving sense of the word um, so glad that you could join us. If you guys actually saw the Chibitronics uh, card, the little Nessie that lit, that lit up, that was made, custom made for Ricky and his family because his son Bram, it's his birthday, which must be pretty soon actually. Happy birthday Bram! So Stacy got, <laughs> oh sorry, I'm, I'm just laughing because Elizabeth says manicure for work yes craig i need to get a manicure because i'm going to be doing all these videos so yeah i really need to do that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and sabrina got botox for migraines and it works wonders how interesting i want to know what what that means does that mean that it because the only botox i know of goes into your lips right does it go elsewhere i just don't know i guess I guess this goes to show that I would would mostly spend my money on ink and stamps rather than um, <laughs> rather than anything uh, medical or cosmetic is probably the right word. More of a problem with garlic, says Rebecca. Absolutely love the stuff. Well, it is amazing. I do you enjoy garlic as well? To the point of eating like two garlic baguettes at once. <laughs> No kisses for you, I reckon. <laughs> it does give me a bit of a migraine and an iffy tummy, but I don't care. I love it too much. You go, girl. <laughs> That's commitment for you. <laughs> oh. We've got... Stacy's got friends who can't eat chocolate. So sad. Right, has anybody... um? Has anybody decided whether I should add a greeting or whether I should just quit before it gets out of control? Oh, happy birthday, Danielle. Happy birthday to you. And um, we bought some tiny distress things for Bram. Amazing. I can't wait to see um, what he creates. Be sure to send them my way. I'd love to see it. I love seeing everybody's crafty creations. Okay, what have we thought? Botox, not both. In the US, oh, here we go. In the US, they use both to hide away wrinkles. Yeah, I've heard of Botox to hide away wrinkles. I don't mind wrinkles. Remind me I said that in a few years whenever I'm like, oh, there's so many wrinkles. <laughs> add a greeting please 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 okay but you're gonna have to help me because i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet let's add another one of these in here oh no let's not okay what are we gonna do let's see right i need a minute to tidy up this mess over here mr foxy up there put this over here oh i might keep that actually 
Okay, I've got these, but I'm not sure they're going to be long enough. I've heard about Botox for migraines and wrinkles. Botulism does wonders. Botulism? What is this? While I'm single, says Rebecca. I'll eat as much garlic as I like. <laughs> okay, at some point we need to think, maybe I'm single because of <laughs> garlic. <laughs> Sorry, is that mean? Maybe that's mean. <laughs> Thoughts, please. Thoughts, please. <laughs> Make a tiny... I'm going to do that, Ben. Make a tiny bat to put inside. I'm going to... Well, I'm going to attempt to do that, definitely. Like a little stick, a piñata stick. Maybe I could hang it off here. Mm -mm -mm. I'd love to see how you incorporate a sentiment. Thanks. Thanks, Stacey. It's like, Leslie, you're on your own here. And we're not, we're, we want to see how you work under pressure. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm sure he'll make a card or something to send to the beautiful and talented Amazon. Oh, geez, you you guys. I would love that. Please do send one my way. And I can add it to my wall of fame. Okay, so this stamp set which is year seven, the little piñata from Longform, has got some greetings here that says, hope your birthday is a, and then we've got the word smash. But I'm wondering, we could go for something like, something sweet, sweet, sweet. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. If I ever come to Brisbane, we should catch up, definitely. And by catch up, you mean craft up, I hope. <laughs> um, maybe happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday would work. Um, Stacy says it's food poisoning. I'm not sure if people know that it's the same. What's the same in food? What? What's the same thing as food poisoning? Botox? Botox is food poisoning? I'm missing something. I'm getting distracted by all the craft in here. <laughs> okay, I'm back in a second. I'm going to see what I can find for a birthday greeting. See what I've got. Okay. Oh, I know what I could maybe do. Um, doesn't one fun have the big scripty greetings? That might look good. Big scripty words, boom. Okay, we've got birthday. So we could go happy and then do a little birthday. Or we could do happy and then put the birthday on the banner. All of these are options. That might work. Or, mm, let's see. Why don't we stamp one of these bad boys and see how it works out? It doesn't work. You don't have to use it. Botulism is food poison. Oh my gosh. I did not know that. Yeah, I'll spend my money on crafting instead, I think embossed or just stamped you know i was thinking of embossing to be fair i was thinking white embossing on blue mm. maybe or let's move this back over again maybe something on white like i could do a blue on white or something because it would tie into with the background there but hey let's just give it a go um, we're gonna do a voice day Boisty. So the trick with these guys is to drop it obviously the right way around. And the way that it's all joined together apparently will make sure that it it doesn't bend and warp so that it can cut perfectly. I need to go get a block. So this 
was um, a recent purchase of mine as well, one of the Lawn Fawn Lawn Blocks. Um, but I think I'm going to, oh, I'm going to have to use that, that was not long enough. Okay, um, we'll give it a go with some embossing. First of all, add a little of the embossing buddy anti-static bag to get rid of any moisture on there. Oh no, did someone lose picture? Michelle, come back. Michelle, I hope you come back. Check your connection. Okay. Ricky says that he still has videos, so I'm hoping that it magically comes back to you. Maybe try refreshing as Rebecca kindly suggests. Okie dokie. Um, did I tell you that I was going to do two of these? I was going to do one blue on blue embossing on white and I'm going to do white embossing on blue and then we'll see what happens. Although this is a textured cardstock so I'm not convinced that it's going to be the most perfect impression but if you don't try how are you gonna know and at the end of the day if it doesn't work out chuck it in the bin nobody except everybody on this live video <laughs> will know that um that we did that need to find a better way to store my little spoon. I always end up with powder fingers every time I try to take it out. July says, um, I love the magic of embossing. Me too. Every time I'm like, oh, it's just so magical. It does make me smile. Michelle, you're back. Welcome back. I'm glad you came back. And I'm sorry that it went went dim all dark for you. I'm not sure what happened there. My screen keeps going off because there's a screensaver on my computer, so I have to wiggle my mouse every now and again. Stacy likes the blue and white. Mm-hmm. But what you don't know, Stacey, is that the blue embossing powder that I have, oh my gosh, it's not gonna work. No, need a bigger piece. The blue embossing powder that I have is actually a, what's the word? A, a pearlescent -y type one. Um, I'll show you in just a second. So, that might actually tip the balance, but that's what we're doing too. We're gonna have a vote. Oh, I think I should just get a proper piece of paper and stop trying to use mini scraps. Ah, this one will work. Got many papers. Elizabeth, holding your puppy now. Rebecca says she won't. They won't tell anyone. You won't, guys won't tell anyone if it goes wrong. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Sometimes when things go wrong, it's actually the best thing that can happen to you. Okay. Let's shake this up. So this is from Cosmic Shimmer, and it is called Embossing Powder Persian Sea. Aurora and um, of course now I'm not going to be able to find a piece of paper. Let me see what I can find. To use this. A whole craft room full of card and then not a piece of rubbish paper to be found anywhere. So I you may have noticed that I give this little, oh, can you see? Oh, you're not gonna be able to see. Can you see the sheen? 
so pretty. It's a bit close and boost. And the reason that I shook the little tub is that in embossing powders, some embossing powders I should specify, they, the manufacturers, they sometimes put in what I would call filler. So it, it's, well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's kind of like a, a, a substance they put in to get more mileage out of their embossing powder. And um, also some embossing powders have got different little crystals in it. So there'll be different types of one. And the, the different crystals will be different weights. So very often they can, the, the large crystals or the filler will start, will go to the bottom. So it's always a good idea to give it a good shake up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I didn't know Cosmic did their own embossing powder. Yes, Rebecca, they do, or at least they did. This is, um, this is probably quite an old, um, an old one. Right, guys, I'm going to need to turn on the heat gun, so bear with me a second while I try to mute my microphone because it's not a pleasant sound. One sec. See if I can get a wee close up here. Can you see the texture? Pretty, pretty. So now that this is stamped, it is much darker than I thought. But well, also kind of pretty. Let's cut them out. Rebecca says she needs to get some tweezers to hold my cardstock when I emboss. I always burn my fingers. Yeah, Santa brought me them actually in my stocking. Great little stocking filler and they are, you can get ones which I think, oh, who are they by? Um, Pro, Provocraft maybe? But uh, those ones are actually just an eBay job and they do the trick to be honest. Right, let's see. like feels like I'm doing some sort of surgery <laughs> on here the concentration sparkles shines and iridescence is always better hey little boys hey little Wilkinson peoples welcome welcome thank you for joining us for crafting <laughs> Big shot, come here. Yeah, as as Crafty Sue has mentioned earlier, I do kind of miss the fact that my cover bug had a much smaller footprint. Hey ho. Good morning. I think we just got some people on the other side of the world waking up and we are we're nearly finished actually aren't we nearly finished this 
card but we we're trying to add a greeting and we couldn't decide whether we wanted oops, white embossing on blue or blue embossing on white. So we've got white on blue and this one which is an iridescent. Oh, I can't really see. You guys need to come here and see it in perfect in, in, in person. It's so pretty. Yeah. Okay, let's put this one out and see what happens. Are these lawn fawn dyes worth investing in? Um, do I wonder if you mean the these ones, or you mean any one? Um, is these lawn fawn dyes worth investing in, or is hand cutting enough? What's your opinion in the brother on the brother scan and cut? Okay, good question, July. And I love the dyes the they in my opinion are definitely worth investing in they give excellent cuts and just so you know I know that I use a lot of long form stuff but I'm actually I'm not like affiliated with them in any way so um, I sing their praises because I use their products and I love their products. I'm, I'm not, it's not like they pay me or anything like that or probably don't even know who I am. Um, even though I use a lot of their products. So I think that they are definitely, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, definitely worth it. However, the Brothers Scan Pot, I have heard good things about that I have seen um, some Instagram posts showing it in action and I think that I, I have also seen some people give away the like being saying I'm selling my dies because I've now got a brother scan and cut so it seems to be popular um, However, here's the thing. I I usually make a card and I m make it up as I go along pretty much, as you guys have seen in the last two experiments and YouTube lives that I've been doing. Um, so I don't really know from the outset what I'm going to make. With the scan and cut, I think you need to almost make a bunch or stamp a lot of stuff and then cut it out. I reckon I would I like using like one thing at a time so I'll, I'll be like mm, I'll add this I'll add a birthday and I'll go and I'll cut it whereas for the scan and cut I probably you know I would not really be able to do that on a live video and I don't think I would open up my software in order to to do just one image so that's my reasoning why I don't think it would work for me Right, we've got birthday here. We've got that one. You see, the thing is, this is pretty, but I think it's the wrong color. I think it's too dark. Let me bring this closer. It's not the right tone. I think this one works better. Delena says yes. Yes, what? It's hard sometimes the delays. I think the delays tonight, somebody just mentioned there, I think the delays are a little slower this time. I think you might be right. Okay, so I'm going to put you, Mr. like this because you're a little wibbly wobbly. And I'm thinking that this, I regret putting you here, so you're coming off. Please don't rip. Please don't rip. I'll put you back on. You ripped. Okay, so I think this is going to go here, like this. And then my birthday is either going to go on here or, or just below it. Where am I going to put happy? Thoughts? Tell 
Emily said, you're right, white on blue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's pretty. Sure is pretty. I'll put that in my little, my little dish of, I'll just save this for later. This guy is so cute. Look at him. He's so cute. Put that over there. So I've got birthday and now I need happy. Hmm. I could just do the happy from this, but I think that might be too. I could stick them together though, maybe. Let me see. You can do another one at the top for happy. Rookie says. I love the shiny one, but I agree it's slightly too dark. Glad we're all in agreement. Okay, I'm gonna have a look to see what else I can find. I don't even know if you can hear me when I'm over here in my craft room. Where are my guides? some dies that are the alphabet so I could just cut it out letter by letter but my die set I think maybe in a kit somewhere I'm hiding certainly not where I thought it would be honestly We can hear you. Did you guys not hear me for a while? Maybe the happy on the white banner bit and the birthday underneath. Let's see. Maybe. I like, I kind of like the birthday on that. I think it really pops. Birthday. Or we could have birthday love. Let's try that. Birthday love. Birthday hugs. Now we're talking. Alistair is now smiling. He just heard your hello. Hi Alistair. I guess these comments are taking a little while to come through. I'm sorry about that guys. Um, where's my blue card? I'm not sure what is going on. Hey Alistair, do you like to craft and get messy? <laughs> Hi! If you do, you are in good company. I'm sure most of us here like to also craft and get messy. And that's why my fingernails always end up looking filthy. See. Oh, I. Um. Someone said earlier. What did they say? Oh, they said. And I'm sorry. I can't remember who it was. They said that I should put a little piece of Velcro here, and stick my spoon to it. And yes, that actually may be a really good idea. Thank you for that. I did have a like a tiny hook like a plastic hook where you'd hang things up and I had it stuck there with some foam tape but all the powder here would just get onto the adhesive like onto this bit here and remove all the stickiness <laughs> so my hooks kept falling off but that worked good because you could tuck the spoon in underneath the hook 
and that that worked really well until it just kept falling off here you go although i can see this one's fallen out it had a little hook like this and i just did that and that worked grand but i needed to keep replacing this happy on the pinata Ooh, that might work that might work okay i'm going to mute you guys again although i'm wondering if um I'm wondering if that's what slowed down the comments. So I'm going to mute you again anyway because the embossing gun is not very fun. And Danielle say, big hugs. Big hugs. Say, um, birthday bash. That's a good idea. Um, I wish I could find those letters. That would be really useful. But I don't know where they are. Oh. Before I do this, I'm going to, oh, it didn't mute either time, <laughs> Rebecca, that's so funny. I'm trying to prevent you guys from hearing the nasty, nasty um, heat gun. Where's my scissors? Never mind. Um, yes, as I was saying, I want to do a giveaway but I have no idea how to do it easily on here um, I would really love it if if YouTube would save the comments so when I'm finished crafting I can go back and like randomly pick a comment or something but that doesn't happen So I'm not really sure how to do it. Okay, let's do, actually, do you guys, have you guys been on any other live shows and have um, any advice for how other shows would do a giveaway? You guys might know if you've watched other shows. Come on, piñata. Someone suggested putting happy onto the piñata. Well, I think he's too cute. I don't really want to cover him up. Do you think that would work? Hmm, interesting. Or I make a bigger banner. Bigger banner. <laughs> Ricky says I need to talk about beam streaming. That must be another way of um, streaming some sort of magic. I wonder if it's any better. <laughs> Save. Like to save it for a later edition <laughs> yeah it's a cute one i'm gonna put the big one in there as well um right should we try to do a bigger a bigger one should we give it a shot probably just be a straight one ask the viewers to share to share what Ask the viewers to share. Share what? To share the, the video. Share the video and um, then I pick um, I pick 
someone who has shared it. Is that what you mean? I guess they can see who has shared it on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, could share it on Facebook, but then that means I can't give it away during the the show during this um chit chat, right? I don't want to make this too short. <laughs> Beam is more interactive and it has bots that have your giveaways. Ooh, interesting. Sounds good. I I like the idea of sharing. I like the idea of oh I've just got a big dirty smudgy mark on there. Where's my mono eraser? It's not so much ink though that I got on there, but inky fingers or dirty fingers. I'll give it a go. Okay, so Ricky, yeah, we need to um, need to have a think about what if there's any other live streaming places. I, I like YouTube because it sends it out to my audience and it also saves it onto my um, my videos. So anybody who comes to the YouTube channel can see it. Craig is the one introduced you to Beam. Well, I'm sure he's probably thought about it then because he's pretty much the mastermind behind this. He must have figured it out or made a decision to have this one instead, maybe. I think I asked him. Right. Let's see. Oh, I think this is too bulky now. Thoughts, people. WordPress do you have? It's not having it. They usually announce just a few minutes after the YouTube is over, and yes, you share the video. Okay. Um. Do you, my only concern, and you might know the answer. And if Craig's watching, he might be able to figure it out. Um, will YouTube put this up straight away? Because I think sometimes it might take some time to process it, especially because I have been crafting for nearly three hours. <laughs> so that would be my concern is that it's not going to be straight away. So you guys would need to come back and, and, um, and uh, yeah, come back whenever YouTube has done its thing. So... I have decided against the the big one. I'm going to go for birthday and um I might birth maybe I'll just do hugs. Hugs? Hugs? I don't know. I'm gonna stick this down because I'm now making taking too much time thinking about it and not enough time actually doing it so let's just do that how to stick it down I think I'm gonna need a glue dot Rebecca is agreeing with me that the finished strip looks better Michelle thinks we should just leave it without a sentiment on the front While I'm doing this, why don't I do um, the giveaway, which is, um, let me think. Um, oh, hello, Sasha. 
Um, I am just about to talk about a giveaway and we're trying to figure out the best way to do it where um, please yes please please do share the video after YouTube has done its thing that would be awesome but I would actually like to give it away and do the announcement while I am live and I think what I'll do is not very technical at all. Try upside down. I don't know what you mean. Um, is not very technical, but I'm going to write down a number um, between one and 50, and everybody gets to, everybody gets to guess the number. And, the, and you get get one guess. If I go through the comments and you've guessed more than once, then you're disqualified. Do, 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 do. Um, so you get one guess, and whoever is closest to the guess will win the prize. So um, there must be a better way of doing this. But um, especially if you win, I would like you to share my video. <laughs> but I would really love it if all of you or any of you would do that anyway. So everybody please, write down a number between 1 and 50 and if there's more than one if there's more than one winner then i will um put both names into a a draw and pick a winner that way okay maybe make your husband make a list of your names and then randomly pick one um I would do that except he is probably in the middle of a game and he um, it would take me just to get out here so I'm going to pick a number between 1 and 50 okay so let me first of all write down the number but not show it to you guys so let me just write Pick a number Oops. between one to fifty. Only one. And I'm going to leave that there for a minute while I figure this out. And the numbers will come in and in. Oh. Um. In a few minutes, I will close it down and see who either was the closest or or got it let's stick this guy on here so like I say not a very technical way of doing it but I am fine with that pick a number between 1 and 50 And I've got it written down here on a post-it note to the side. And I did that was the first thing I did before I even wrote this one. So you know that I was in no way influenced by anybody's number. Let's stick this on. I really wanted to say birthday bash, not or birthday something, but I want my bigger they have yeah. while you guys are guessing I'm going to look for those dies again here they are I actually thought they were in a small um, die set. I've got smaller packs that's like this size instead of this one. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. So we could go happy up here. Happy birthday. Happy. We're going to use MR to visualize a P. Happy birthday. 
Oh, okay, okay. I like it, I like it, do you like it? I like it. Let's cut these out. Yay, I can use some of my scrappies. Okay, as everybody guessed, I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Put my hugs, hugs up there. My goodness, what a mess. all nice and neatly on there and then had to move it. H-A, where's my P? P. Right. Do you guys make a mess whenever you craft? Honestly, it's just crazy. So Ricky, tell us what did you um what did you get Danielle or how did you treat Danielle for her birthday? I hope you were lavishing her with gifts. I'm sure you were. <laughs> um while I'm at it, I'm going to cut another layer from Another couple from blue, just to create a little, a little shadow. So Ricky, you're saying you make a mess getting the things out to get crafty. Are you doing crafting now? Are you crafting or are you getting the brown? will have had a chance to comment hopefully and we can take a look to see if anyone got the magic number okay so oh just totally put my embossing powder in the bin Right, it looks like we have a winner. Dun, 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 dun. This is gonna be funny realizing when you guys get my my audio come through and you realize who the winner is. The winning number and the winner of the Honeybee Stumps Welcome Baby stamp set and the coordinating die set is 17 Stacy you're the winner congratulations well uh, yeah amazing I am really glad that there was a winner and I didn't have to do math to figure out who was the closest <laughs> so thank you for picking 17 and thank you everyone else for um, for joining in Stacy if you can please send me an email um, to les lez at hungryheffycrafts.com um, or you can go through my website to the contact me thing and just put um, welcome baby winner on there then you uh, make sure you send me your address as well then I can get them sent out to you Ricky says he has always crafted. Ah, awesome. I didn't know that. I want to see your work. He is a seamstress and all of that. Awesome. I just sold my dress form. Santa bought me a, uh, bought me a dress form. 
two years ago when I was a bit more into my sewing and I did not use it once and um, it sat on the table behind me here and it it looked pretty it sure did but I al almost got a little sad because it needed to be loved you know oh Stacy doesn't know that she's won is it the right Stacy let me just check Stacy you won your stream is lagging. Maybe whenever you listen back to the pre-recorded one, you'll realize that we're all saying congratulations. Okay, so I'm adding the drop sh little drop shadow with the blue. There we go. Yeah, so I just sold my dress form to the lovely lady who lives in our village and um, who owns Sparky the dog which is one of my borrowed doggies one of the doggies that I borrow and yeah she makes amazing things so I am very happy that it is going to a loving home and it's already been used more by her than it had by me now someone asked me where are these dies from these dies are another purchase from Wish, which is the app on your phone. What have I done with that R? That, um, this is why I need to tidy up. The app on your phone where you can buy cheaper things. And I think this was maybe, here it is. A, maybe four pounds four pounds something like that and yeah they work really well I was really pleased with them really pleased congrats again Stacy you're gonna have a new stamp set to play with whoop, whoop. okay before I do this I'm going to add a little pink to the bottom using my blending brushes again little pink -aloony. Add some sponge sugar. Everybody loves the sponge sugar. So Stacy, yes, um, I'm, I think maybe Ricky mentioned, but if you can send me your address in an email, or you can use the, the contact me section of the website as well and I shall get them sent off I have to actually go to the post office tomorrow so if you're quick about it I can even get it sent off in the post tomorrow for you how cool would that be super duper fast and guess what else I found out today <laughs> um I found a birthday invitation in Piper's um, school bag for a party tomorrow, which means I get the craft tomorrow. It's awful, isn't it? I'm so happy about the fact that um, she's got a party to go to. That's a bit rude, isn't it? I think maybe I shouldn't have done that in pink. Should have done that contrasting. I think I'm going to not overhang the oval. See if I can get away with it. Les at hungryheavycrafts.com or info at hungryheavycrafts.com Per Stacy's connection is failing her at the worst possible time. <laughs> Rebecca, you're right. Les, L-E-Z. Yes, L-E-Z. Don't do L-E-S. L-E-Z, please. Or info at. 
Guys, we're nearly done. It's only taking me like three hours. Normally, it takes me about an hour by the time I think what I'm going to do, figure it out. But, you know, being Irish and having the gift of the gab, that kind of slows me down. But I enjoy talking to you guys. Oh, Stacey says, for everyone who's watching, not live, that she's giggling with glee. Amazing. I hope you enjoy it. And the fun thing, like one of the fun things about the, the Welcome Baby stamp set is that it, it has like little baby building blocks. But then there's also little images like um, star and heart. And you can add them onto the baby blocks. So it's fun. And I like the like the little dog and cat that you can peek out over the top of things or peek out from apertures. Lots of fun things you can do. Both feel a bit a bit heavy to the left, but never mind. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> right. Come on, let's add some uh, candy, as we say. No, we don't say. We say sweeties. Although I say candy quite a bit, and I think Piper says candy quite a bit because we um, pick it up from probably all the uh, American YouTubers and things. There's a wee stray one. And I know we had a conversation last week about the Wink of Stella glitter pen. And I think maybe those happy birthday letters need a little touch of glitter. To finish things off. What do you think? Oh, these little guys are, they're so cute, but they're teeny weeny weeny. I'm thankful for my glue dots, the small glue dots. These are the bling, the Zots bling glue dots, which I have not been able to find in the UK. So I bought a I think I got like four packets when I went to Michael's um, in the States. And this is still my first one, so. Hopefully I'm not going to um, run out too quickly. Right, I think I've added all my little candy bits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stacy, she's still still a little bit um, excited and awestruck about the fact that she's a winner. Congratulations! Winning competitions are the best, especially if it's crafting. Okay, guys, guess what? I think I'm done. Okay, it's gonna be hard to hold it without him falling around the place. So I'm gonna put my finger under him there like that. Hold him up. Happy birthday. What do you think? <laughs> Open it up and then you've got this on the inside. There's absolutely not really any space to write a message, but um, yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> it's, not, it's not about the sending, it's about the crafting of the card. I'm sure we can make it work. Awesome. Well, I think now I need to tidy up this mess 
and um, get to my bed because it is now nearly midnight and I would like to say a massive thank you to everyone who has joined me for another Friday night of crafting and thank you very much for your input. I will take a photo of this tomorrow I imagine maybe in my two hours of Leslie crafty time when Piper is at her party and I will put it on Instagram and my blog as well Hungry Happy Crafts please be sure to, to tag yourself if um, you're watching the video and also I mean one of the big things for me is I would love to see more people on these videos you're always going to have not a full, a full house as it were because it's different time zones across the world and obviously people people have a life people have things to do and I really really appreciate that you guys are taking the time to sit with me um, and you know dip in and out of the the video that's awesome but if you can share this with your friends I've done a little um video thing that's like craft with me I'll share that whenever I am doing a live stream or planning to do one so there's a little bit of notice but if we can get more people that would be even more awesome and I have got more bits and pieces in my craft room that are just eager to go to new crafty homes so I am sure that there will be more giveaways in the future I'm going to say good night and cheerio and thank you very much thank you so much for joining me in my craft room love you all and have a great week happy crafting